hello everyone welcome back the today video is about attribute costing in the previous videos i explained that what is the mutator and accessor and how we can uh, implement this in the real time project so i implemented this in the project with an example so if you are not familiar with this one you can watch my previous videos so without wasting any time let's start the attribute costing so attribute costing provide functionality similar to accessors and mutators so let me a little bit explain that what is accessor and mutators so when we are uh, finding uh, when we are uh, getting something from the database and we want to uh, change the value at the runtime we use accessor if we are getting a name from the database and our name is stored uh, in our lower case and uh, we want to make this capitalized first letter so this uh, accessor will come and uh, change the first uh, cap uh, first letter of our name and uh, when we are storing uh, uh, capital case letter in the capital or lower case letter in the database and we mutate uh, its value at the runtime at the model and uh, it's saved uh, if we are sending capital case value from the form so it will be saved database uh, saved in the database in the lower case so as uh, per our requirement so it's the uh, basic functionality of mutator when we are saving some value we can mutate this value in our model so attribute costing as uh, it's also work as similar without defining any uh, functions we don't need to define any functions so it's a um, cost uh, uh, array which is defined in our model so why we use this uh, uh, let's understand it cost property should be an array where the key is name of attribute and stuff like that right i will explain it within example so we can also uh, change the value at runtime for example let's understand it within example because people learn a lot from this uh, from the examples right for example we store this uh, is publish uh, in our database uh, in the form of 0 1 format right and uh, we want to uh, get the true and false right so how we can get the true and false from this uh, 1 and 0 right so we can uh, change this uh, type to, uh, to boolean right i want to change the post uh, is publish uh, in column boolean either is is uh, stored integer in the database right so let's go to the post model and here we need to first uh, define a property here put it's a protected and it should be a cost right so it's an array right and uh, here we need to uh, we want to apply it uh, on which column we want to apply it on is published so let me show it to you yes this one is published right is publish right and uh, which thing we want to apply on this column i want to make this boolean right boolean it mean it's true and false right save this one and when we uh, access it or saved it it will store as boolean right so let's go here and uh, in the previous we we are saving this so let me commit this and uh, get the post right so it's a post and let me get the first post right post uh, find find the first right and uh, here let me return the post uh, let me return the post is publish right is publish is uh, publish right is publish okay and uh, let me make this true not return we need to make this die dump right uh, we are getting this is publish so let me uh, save this one and uh, give it a refresh okay and uh, it says boolean on column is uh, called to undefined cost boolean so let me uh, make this spell correctly so in the boolean i think double o is there so let me give it a refresh and yes now it's turning true so it means that we successfully translate to our transform our value right so how we can transform other values right uh, if i want to store this uh, 
uh, I want to store this uh, title encrypted, right? How we can do this? So there is also a property of encrypted. So you can, when we are, uh, when we store our data into the database, it will be encrypted. It, uh, this column will be encrypted. And I want to uh, make the title column encrypted. And we are in the post model. So if you want to make some field of user model, so you can go to the user model and uh, define this protected property, right? protected cost property and uh, what uh, which operation you want to perform i want to make this encrypted when it's saved in the database right save this one and uh, let's go to the web.php file and here we are going to uh, save some post right post and i want to uh, create a new post right and uh, let me set the title of this post title title of post okay and then i need to set the description right description okay description and it would be a test to description right save this one and let me put the semicolon here and give it a refresh and yes, it's uh, successfully saved this. So let me go ahead and give it a refresh. And yes, our fifth entry is there and uh, our title is encrypted. So it means that our encrypted property is applied on this and uh, our test description is there. So it's encrypted the column. You can save the your uh, confidential information uh, in the encrypted form like you have a passport number or TM card number you can save them in the encrypted so when you get this value it will be automatically decrypted so let me uh, show show it to you okay so let me get this post okay find the post not it's a user it's a post of let me return this post and uh, what is the post name i think it's a uh, id of uh, six right so let me remove this let me check that is it id of six no it's id of five right so let me make this five and give it refresh and yes now the title would be auto uh, decrypted right we don't need to apply any description so it's automatically by default decrypted it's still in the database it's encrypted right so that is the beauty of this uh, costing feature right so laravel helps a lot to do anything which you want hope this uh, video is helpful for you and if you are uh, interested to more uh, learn more about laravel subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected bye bye